is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basim. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will. And harder still to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shurga was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. His prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. You have little patience for chittering squirrels. And yet I allow you to squeak in my ear along all the roads and byways of Kent. Because you are... We are too late. Be my eyes. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved. Whatever the... You will not see another sunrise swine ball! Damn, bro. our lives, friend. These Saxon whoresons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to head back. March with us on Rochester, and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our viking at Hort. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham. Remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, Meet me on the shore near Rue, sister, with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. <laughs> you travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a uh, hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents yeah. when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. 
I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Essam. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. Oh. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. Damn, bro. Sister will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. All right. We have this. Yeah. Damn it, I want to kill you. Hey, bitch. Clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be in sight. With the chain down, Githrich and the ships can get through. What happened, little one? Mummy's ring! I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, 
and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that. There is the bird's nest. Uh... Apology, I'm sorry I had to break the ladder. My daughter kept going up there to see the raven's nest, but there are old jars right beside it. Those things are dangerous. I removed the ladder, but she put it back up again, so I had to break it. Um. Oh. Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother. My husband gave me that ring. My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father. When all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. Terrible. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. Freaking woman. I have your mother's ring. Be careful in future. We should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell then. All right, Sky Thief. Finish off Kent. Surely you can spare a little, honey. No need to get so maddened. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to their hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. I only want to scrobble a little. They have plenty to share. She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen. <gasps> I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. <laughs> you got the honey? Oh, thank you! 
Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. What? Rock. Log? <gasps> Wait, what? This is obviously not it. Rock, bro. Here? The rock is just over there by the tree. Hurry before she comes. She'll be here soon. Yo, there? Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. There. Yeah. There you are, Winifred. I mm. got you, honey. Hmm. It's cute. Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. <laughs> 